God's law, also known as the Ten Commandments, was never abolished, and whosoever saith otherwise saith falsely. Why is it we can agree that it is a sin to murder, to steal, lie, to have other gods, yet when it comes to keeping the Sabbath, many turn away and ignore? God knows all. Amen? If you look around, tell me what day most people go to church on. Is it any wonder why the fourth commandment specifically says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The Lord knew the world would be taught to forget it. Satan hates God and has always attacked His law throughout history because God is love and the foundation of the Ten Commandments is love. When you keep the first four, you show love to God your Creator. When you keep the other six, you show love to those around you. Do not be deceived. God's Word clearly says the Law of Moses contained in ordinances was abolished at Calvary, not God's Law written in stone by God Himself. The enemy has been at work preparing for decades to enforce the mark of the beast. The seventh day Sabbath was claimed to be changed to the first day of the week, Sunday, by man's authority, just as prophecy predicted. Most people go to church on Sunday because after the Protestant Reformation, churches clung to the Sunday keeping tradition. People actually stopped studying their Bibles and trusted in traditions because you will not find one single Bible verse that will back up the change of the Sabbath day. And yes, we can worship God any day and every day, but God specifically said He blessed and sanctified the seventh day and commanded us to remember to keep that day holy. The Sabbath is a gift to man from our Creator God. Why would you turn it away or choose to disobey and keep another day? The mark of the beast is not a barcode, tattoo, or chip. It's the enforcement of Sunday laws. A law will be passed soon that will force all to keep Sunday as the Sabbath, otherwise they will not be able to buy or sell. The book of Revelation is full of symbols. The mark of the beast, the forehead, the right hand, all are symbols used to represent something just like the beasts. The frontal lobe of the brain, also known as the forehead, is where functions like decisions, judgment, and free will are made. If you choose to follow the beast and worship according to their rules and traditions and against the law of God, then you symbolically receive the mark in your forehead representing your mind as it was a free will choice. The Bible shows many times that hands symbolically represent your actions. If you bow under the pressure of tribulation and due to not being able to buy or sell, then you symbolically receive the mark in your hand representing your actions. God's Word says the Ten Commandments go into your heart, soul, hand, and forehead as well. We are sealed by our Creator God when we choose to obey Him. Our love for God leads to obedience. So choose ye this day whom ye will serve, for time is of the essence.
bring back this moral rebirth to our country, to turn our hearts back to good things, that that is some sort of amazing thing for me to have said, and that would be offensive to people. It's the soul that is corrupt, and how we get back to a moral rebirth in this country, I don't know, since we are slowly eroding religion at every opportunity that we have. Uh, probably we should be debating a bill requiring every American to attend a church of their choice on Sunday to see if we can get back to having a moral rebirth.